Hey, what's up, friends? I wanted to do a quick video before you guys went to sleep tonight, and I really want you to take it in and just get curious about it. You don't have to agree with it, just get curious about it. So, you know, a lot of people, especially coaches, when they're working with clients, talk about, you know, how the universe provides. You ask for what you need, and it provides. I want you all to understand something, that that statement is leveraged very loosely by a lot of people, and the way that I want to explain it to you is that Whatever you put out there to the universe, you will attract. So even though you may be saying every once in a while, please provide or pray, this is what I need, this is what I want, this is what I desire. If you believe in your mind that you are not worth it, if you believe in your mind that it's actually not possible to get what you need from the universe or from God, guess what? It's not going to come to you. I was actually thinking to myself earlier today how many times I've been in some really, really bad binds. And in spite of those circumstances, I always believe, and I still do today, and I hope that I always do, that um, I'm going to be okay. That the universe and God will provide for me whatever amount of money I need, whatever you know type of relationship I need. Um, no matter what it is, the universe and God are going to provide. And... On the flip side, for people who say, I never have enough time, or I never have enough money, or I'm never going to have enough money, I'm never going to be happy at my job, I'm never going to have a great relationship, um, when you close off the door and you shut the door to reinvention, you are self-sabotaging yourself. That's that limiting belief that you have, and that I have, and that everybody else in the world has, because we're born with this level of resistance. And so what I invite you to consider and get curious about is start to speak your truth. Start to speak what is actually true that you are capable of achieving anything in your life and that we need to stop believing these lies, the lies that we tell ourselves and that we actually believe, which then manifests in us speaking these lies, which in the end produce the results that we're not happy with, but our resistance is. It helps and it forces us to play small. So start speaking that you are worth it. Start speaking that, you know, that you want to attract the financial independence that you want, that you are willing to accept and surrender yourself to the universe, surrender yourself to God's blessings and say, yes, I will take it in. I will take it and I will, you know, use it for good. And, and when that happens, miracles happen. You have the ability to create a miracle in your life right now. So when you go to sleep tonight, dream of success, dream of happiness, dream of peace, dream of anything in your life that, again, that you need or that you that you feel is necessary in your life for, for a change, for a shift, for a new beginning. And don't wait till January 1st. You know, I'm hiring a personal trainer this week. I'm telling you right now, Facebook, my ass is getting in shape and I'm not waiting until January 1st. So, you know, make the change now. Take that moment and, and the brain takes only one tenth of a second, one tenth of a second to generate a thought and that thought can, can trigger a choice and it will trigger a choice. It takes one tenth of a second to change your life. Go do it.